What are your religious um, I class myself as atheist. Uh, so you don't believe in God? No. Um, do you think it's right that doctors have the responsibility to give and to take life? I think the responsibility shouldn't just fall on the doctors. I think in most cases um, an informed decision can be reached with the advice of a doctor and taken mm -hmm. into the considerations of other family members. Um, and so I don't think responsibility should solely fall on the doctors, yeah. but I do believe that, yes, there are justifications for for decisions to be made about terminating someone's life if that is um, going to suffer, mm -hmm. going to alleviate the suffering and pain of that individual or for other circumstances. Yeah. But it should involve everyone that is so affected not, by not the not just decision. pressure on the doctor then? It should be, it should, yeah, it shouldn't just be on the doctor. Yeah, okay. Um, how far should nature determine who survives? It depends on what your definition of nature is, and yeah. nature is a very tricky thing to have a definition of. And if we left everything just to nature, then well, yeah. human society wouldn't have ever progressed to the stage it has now if we went just by nature. Yeah. We are part of nature, therefore, what we do is natural. So. Um, I don't think you can just leave it down to nature because you mm. wouldn't have anything that we see around us now. Yeah, but um, for example, like genetic engineering and this, um, you know, personalization of your of an individual baby. coming baby. I think it would be wrong to individualize a baby based on oh, you want a specific eye color or you want yeah. to have some specific traits. But if it is eliminating genetic diseases, mm. then I don't see any issue with that. Yeah. If, so if, if a child is going to be born and they're going to live their life in pain or suffering, then if we have the opportunity to remove that, yeah. then I don't see why we shouldn't uh, try and use that technology. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you think advancements in medical technology are making ethical decisions more complicated? Yes, yeah. they are. It's as simple as that. I the onset, <laughs> onset of genetics, um, is making is, is muddling the water across the board. It's making it much more difficult, and I think it's having an impact in other areas as well. Mm -hmm. um, people going abroad for assisted suicides. Yeah. It's making everything much harder. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Yeah, it's where it goes from wrong. Yeah, right. it, and part of it's yeah. down to individuals, and it's it's going to be a tricky balancing act going forward. Yeah. How society views it and what becomes morally acceptable and, and ethically acceptable. But at the moment, it's an interesting point as to which direction it's going to go. Yeah. Um, okay, last, one, uh, last question is, do you think medical ethics should be guided by religious principles or completely secular? Depends on the society in which it's in. If you've got a, se a mainly secular society, then that will that will have an impact on the ethics, but if you have a more religious-based society, then you won't be able to disassociate the religion, the religious morality of the society from the ethics involved in medicine. So the two do go hand in hand. You can't just say, right, we're going to make all ethical decisions in medicine secular, whereas mm. you've got a strong religious yeah. um, ethical view for yeah. the rest of society so it depends very much on the individual society I think I yeah. don't think you can separate the two you can't, separate you can't have them separate do you believe them. that um, you know, morality relies on religion or is mm, no I don't think it does I think you know because religion has been around for so long it obviously has had an impact but I don't think it necessarily means mm. that if you are religious you're more moral or less moral or anything like that. Yeah. It, it will have an impact, but if if I was raised, my parents were, um, my mum was raised Catholic and then um, has, has moved away from the church, but if we hadn't, if I hadn't been raised as a Catholic initially, um, then I would probably have different morals, mm. but I'd still have some yeah. moral boundaries, moral sense, yeah. so not necessarily.
Okay. <laughs> Thank you. No problem.